Are we ready now? I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> Don't play with my emotions, John. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to another edition of www.ymastery.co.uk. My name's John Life, and this is. John Murphy! And we're here to tell you all about wine. And we're this is episode number 21. We're in France and we're in the centre, or just slightly sort of right in the centre of France, uh, tasting some beautiful Beaujolais. And um, we've had none of obviously part one's gone. This is part two on what's in part two. Alright, part two, as I said, part one we had the Flurry, which is uh, which I would consider, and I think we, we determined yeah. it's quite a very, very light, easy one, what we've called quaffing. Uh, so we're gonna up, up the ante slightly, I'm going for a bruit. A bruit? Bruit. Now, I grab those first. Do you want me to uh, hold it for you? <laughs> Too kind, sir. Too I, kind. Know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay. It's slightly darker in colour. It is, you can see that immediately, can't you? Yeah, yeah. So Funny. from that, we would hope it's going to be a little bit more power of flavour. Okay. Or, or even or more on the nose. Well, that, that, that would be the general rule of thumb. But the, the nose before, immediately, I, was, I can't, this one is not, this no. doesn't seem as strong. No, no. But no, because the, the first one, the flurry, really did kind of it wafted before we'd even yeah. got close to our nose. We could sell, smell the, the strawberries in there, and, it re and that's all. That's all we really found in there. But it was it, by no means a bad thing because it was actually uh, delicious, delicious. It was, yeah. So okay, the brewery. Let's have a. Hmm. Yeah. See, that's um. Uh, it's the red berries are still in there, but oh. that's introducing for me a little bit more of the kind of. Dark chocolate, which I didn't expect from such a, although it's not the lightest red wine I've seen, I didn't expect that kind of power on the nose for that. Is this sort of yes. slight cherry there or not? Definitely cherry, definitely. No. So it's got a little bit more going on than the previous, I suppose, right? Yeah, there's a more complexity there. Um, which is what I was hoping for, which is what, I, oh, yeah, so we've, we've done well. We're oh, we've done well. Right. We're all right, we're all right. Um, for now, let's see what the next one. Yeah, I think that, that cherry would be. It reminds me of something that I can't. Put your finger on? Yeah. Electric um, wire. No, no, it's not that. I've not done that for a long, long time. <laughs> okay. Right, I'm, I'm going to have a go. Let's go. Mm. That's got more going on. There's a lot more bite to begin with, isn't it? Yeah. But again, what I'm noticing then, still not tight. Well, the tannins are very, very slight. We're still having slight tannins. The, the, the mm -hmm. more predominant thing in there is the acidity. Yeah. You know, compared to a lot of rare, it doesn't have that kind of teeth coating. But it has got a lot more than the flurry had. I think, you're right, the, the cherries have come through a lot more in the flavour. I'm not getting the dark chocolate, which I thought would come through. Would this be consistent one year to the next? In other words, in terms of a flurry, or a flurry, would that alternate where maybe one would be it, fuller than another? No, no, I would imagine the, the brewery would always <coughs> always be fuller uh, than the flurry. Okay. That would be its style, but obviously each, uh, every wine will fluctuate or, you know, with the vintages depending on the <laughs> the climate, uh, uh, the weather, that can make a massive difference. And, and, and again, we've gone through this with the winemaker as well, whoever, whoever's putting it together, mm. can make a massive difference. But in general, the brewery should be a, um, a little bit more powerful than the flurry. Okay, but it's very nice. Should be. It is. Have you ever tried a Beaujolais Nouveau? Yes. What did you think? Well, acidy. Yeah. The very, they are, because they are made so young, I mean, some some years there we have had some some really good ones, but out of what the twenty odd years I've been here, we maybe had four four good ones, and the rest have been very very young. Very, there's nothing really there, and you say the acidity is just far too much mm. and a bit too keen. And we generally have four four different Beaujolais Nouveaus that come in as well uh, from different producers. Um, but anyway, back to the brewery. Sorry, I digress. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. No. Mm. So, but again, that has, it has a that kind of appleiness in there as well, but which I would not put together with a red wine. I'd put the appley flavour more with a white wine. Yeah. But again, without the tannins in there, it's, it's, it's um, 
It's an it is an unusual red. It is an unusual red. It's very nice. Very nice indeed. But again, we're looking at it's retailing at sixteen ninety nine. Okay. So that's the same price as the previous one. A pound more. A pound more, sorry, that was mm. fifteen ninety nine, big one. Yeah. No, no, okay. you need to pay attention, John. <laughs> do better. Can do better. <laughs> There'll be mags at the end of the video. <laughs> <laughs> But it, 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 we have come up a little bit of power there. Let's say we've got more cherry. There's more richness there, definitely. Um, but it's still not a powerful red wine. That, and depending on what you like, it. I was going to say, if you like this, though, say that yeah. you, you, the viewer was to, to taste this and they really enjoyed it. Yeah. Is there anywhere else they can go from here or the previous Beaujolais? Is there any other wine that's really got that same lightness and? The only one I would say is it was just sticking with the Gamay grape. Um, from a different country. I, I don't think there's any other wine which is it is um, this light as such. Okay. Or they're being very. Is, is Gamay worldwide? Do they do they grow? Uh, they, I think it is worldwide, but there's, there's certain people do it better. Um, California, California make a, 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 an excellent Gamay, um, and again they, <coughs> they they vary up quite a lot as well. You know, whereas whereas here what we're going to taste, they 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 are, they are all going to be for all intents and purposes. Fairly like, whereas the, the Californians they make some really light, easy going things, very raspberry. And in fact, we take this one the J Law Wildflower was a while ago now, oh, yeah. But that I think that was um, that was about 22 pounds, but that was it was class, was that? Yeah. And that's it, that would take a chill as well. But no, it yeah, you're just gonna have to sit with the gamma grip if, if you are liking this, this slice. I mean, there are if you remember way back at the what probably the beginning of, of, of these episodes, we tried something called the McGuigan's Black Label. Yes, we did. Yeah, yeah. that that one, these yes. guys, yes. They, they, they seem to capture that kind of a similar kind of lightness as well. I think I saw the bottle just somewhere. Around. Oh, this one here, look. You, that, oh, oh, look, is this, 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 that is the what? That's the this, this, this one. If you remember that from previous uh, episodes, that's always a good option if, if you like it. If you like it, this light. Oh, I should like to move on. If you're drinking the Black Label already, you might want to move on and, and, and so try this. this yeah. yeah, absolutely. I'll try try the flurry and work up. But then again, it's sixteen ninety nine. Yes, yes. Um, well, how much, do you remember how much the Malbec was? The Malbec was fourteen ninety nine. Yeah. For me, mm. yeah. If I was just drinking the wine on its own and enjoying it, it but I guess if uh, it was again a garden party, a bit like we were talking about the rosé, and I wanted something light and it was outside, yeah. Then I think this would be. Would you have anything uh, more substantial to eat with this if you were, you were, or just the same as the previous? I'd, I'd do, and again, and again, probably lamb. Again, lamb. You want something light and not nothing too rich. That's never gonna because it doesn't have the tannins in there, which. which you know, which a good red or the bigger red meat needs um, the tannins in there. That it'd be completely lost on. on would, would you ever have uh, this say with pork, or would you keep? To no pork would be absolutely fine as well. Yeah. Just give it a little the lighter meats, really. Yeah. Okay. I mean, chicken, turkey. I, might, I don't know about the the lighter, not white. <laughs> bit of a play on words there, really, isn't it? Bit of a play on words. White is lighter. It is. I mean, it's not going to be offensive to. To a chicken. <laughs> Look at that. I, don't, I don't want a chicken. No, no. To a good old egg. <laughs> oh dear. You're, no. You're making your bets there. It, oh God. <laughs> no, you're bouncing. It, it, it would. It would suit chicken. It, it's not going to harm it in any way. I have to be very careful. No, I don't think it's going to. Um, 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 Destroy the taste? No, not at all. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Look at pork, lamb. The lighter red meat. Okay. Yeah. Super. It's still not bad though. Yeah, it's very nice. But it's, could you could you could you part with sixteen pounds for it? That's why you just keep thinking about. That's why I I don't know <clears throat> I don't know. You, but again, this is what uh, these videos are all about. It's, it's what you do like. So yeah, I, I definitely recommend having a go. Yeah. It's not what we like. It's what you like. And so we're just going through the whole gambit and, until you find the one that you like. Yeah. yeah, or ones, hopefully. Hopefully you won't be stuck with one. <laughs> no, definitely not. Have a good go of everything. Absolutely. Okay, well, that's number two done, and now on to... Number three. Trois. <laughs> oh! Whoa! Oh, here oh, we are! Yeah. Into... <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> droit. Uh, what? what? Droit. 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 I don't know. Right in French, droit, isn't it? Dro I, don't I don't know. know. I don't oh, tell know. us, tell us. I've probably got it completely wrong. Who is it? Yeah, excuse moi. 
<laughs> yeah, we'll see you in part three. We'll see you in part three. See you <laughs> later. <laughs>